He is known for being an Italian navigator and explorer. He is recognized for his 1497 voyage to the coast of North America under the commission of Henry VII of England. His name is John Cabot. In the annals of history, there are figures whose indomitable spirit and thirst for discovery have forever changed the course of human knowledge and understanding. One such luminary was John Cabot, an Italian navigator and explorer, whose extraordinary voyage to the coast of North America under the commission of Henry VII of England marked the earliest known European exploration of coastal North America since the Norse visits to Vinland in the 11th century. In 1497, Cabot embarked on a daring expedition, setting sail from Bristol, England, in search of a westward route to Asia. Guided by his unwavering determination and navigational skills, Cabot and his crew ventured across the Atlantic Ocean, eventually reaching the shores of what is now known as Newfoundland, Canada. This momentous journey not only demonstrated Cabot's exceptional seafaring abilities but also paved the way for future European exploration and colonization of the continent. To commemorate the 500th anniversary of Cabot's historic expedition, both the Canadian and British governments have designated Cape Bonavista, Newfoundland as the site representing Cabot's first landing. However, alternative locations have also been proposed, underscoring the ongoing debate surrounding this significant event in history. John Cabot's exploration of North America has had a profound impact on the world, opening up new possibilities for trade, colonization, and cultural exchange between Europe and the New World. His audacious voyage set in motion a series of events that would shape the course of history, forever altering the global landscape. As we reflect upon the legacy of John Cabot, we are reminded of the indomitable spirit of exploration and the enduring quest for knowledge that continues to inspire and captivate the hearts of adventurers and historians alike. In the bustling city of Venice, young Giovanni Caboto began his journey into the world of exploration and discovery. Born into the family of Giulio Caboto, he grew up with a deep curiosity and a thirst for knowledge. As he embarked on his seafaring adventures, he became known by different names in different lands, reflecting the diverse cultures he encountered. In Venice, he signed his name as Zwan Shabato, embracing the local tradition of nativizing names. This tradition followed him to England, where he was referred to as John Cabot by his Italian banker. The exact birthplace of Cabot has been a subject of debate, with Gaeta and Castiglione Cayavaris being proposed as possibilities. While the records of the Caboto family in Gaeta suggest a connection, they become traceless after 1443. However, it is certain that Cabot spent a significant portion of his life in Venice, where he became a citizen in 1476, requiring a minimum of 15 years residency in the city. Pedro de Ayala, a contemporary of Cabot in London, described him as another Genoese like Columbus. This description is supported by Cabot's own son, Sebastian, who claimed that his father hailed from Genoa. Regardless of his exact birthplace, Cabot's Italian heritage and connection to the maritime world shaped his destiny. As Cabot navigated the seas, his dreams of exploration and discovery were ignited. The yearning for new horizons led him to embark on a voyage that would forever change history, his journey to Newfoundland. This undertaking would solidify his place in the annals of exploration and establish his legacy as a pioneer of transatlantic exploration. If you want to discover more adventurers on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button for my channel, and don't forget to leave a comment in the section below, telling us which adventurers you'd like us to feature next.